We're just about to reach the end of the Brood 8 Cicada Run in western Pennsylvania. But before they go, there's a twist to make the squeamish even more apprehensive. Zombie cicadas. John Shumway has the story. As if cicadas aren't creepy enough, add the word zombie, and our mental images flash to the world of George Romero. But if you think of a zombie, their appendages are falling off. And zombie cicadas? Their abdomen eventually does fall off. Since this latest brood of cicadas started popping out, Lauren Kesma at the Carnegie Science Center has gathered quite a collection. Close to 500 in my freezer. And she's found some with fungus spores acquired as they rise out of the ground, growing white spores in the abdomen, which make it break off piece by piece. It kind of hijacks the cicada's nervous system and it makes males act a little bit like females and it makes the females just kind of want to mate with anyone and anything. Now, researchers led by Dr. Matt Kesson at WVU have discovered why the cicadas go nuts. They were able to actually pinpoint what's causing this, what is the mechanism behind that. Dr. Kesson says it was surprising. Cicada infecting fungi were producing psychoactive compounds. Um, to help alter the behavior of these cicadas. They actually found two compounds, psilocybin. Up until this point, it had only been described from these hallucinogenic mushrooms. And we found cathinone, which is an amphetamine. So the cicadas are tripping and speeding as they lose their abdomens while crawling around thinking nothing's wrong and spreading the fungus as they try to reproduce. And it's important to point out. It's not going to do anything to people. It's not going to do anything to your plants or your pets. Um, unfortunately for the cicadas, it is kind of a death sentence. Death without reproducing, which is the whole reason they surfaced in the first place. John Shumway, KDKA News.